Hi you guys, welcome to the Charm Prairie. My name is Megan and I'm glad that you're here today. In today's video, I'm gonna take you into my kitchen and we're gonna do a baking journey. <laughs> I have been working in the month of March to clean up some of the stuff that just needs to get used up out of my pantry, freezer, fridge to not let it go to waste, kind of tidy, clean up, doing a pantry challenge. And today, I'm gonna do a bunch of baking and hopefully cleaning things out of my freezer to turn into food to then put back into my freezer. But when food is made, like put in its most usable form, either a baked good or food that's just ready to pop in the oven, you're always gonna use it rather than just those random bags of apples or random cans of things. When you compile them into food to put back into the freezer, you always use it because it's quick and it's easy. It's basically instant fast food. So that's what I am gonna work on today and I'm gonna bring you with me and I'm excited for just all the stuff that hopefully we'll make today. I don't know if I've set my ambitions a little too high for what I'm gonna accomplish today, but some of the things I wanna do, I wanna make pies to go in the freezer, waffles to freeze for breakfast, I wanna make some blueberry muffins, um, those three main things, and then we'll see where we go from there. Maybe I'll find some other things I wanna do. So, let's get started. I'm excited. Hopefully this inspires you to get some baking done too. Use some of those things up. Get that food eaten up before it's wasted. Let's get started. So there is my big bowl of waffle batter. That's going to take me a little bit. That's why I like to start it now because, ah, oh, look at that. It's gonna take me a while to make one tiny waffle at a time. But aren't they perfect? I'm really glad to be getting these made because the last few times I've made these, my family has been home and they well, ate them faster than I could make them, and so I had none for the freezer. So I have the waffles going. Next, I wanna get started on getting the pie pans. Now, I have 11 pie pans. I don't know if that might be a little ambitious to try to whip out 11 pies. We'll see what I can do. 
Something that I like is to buy these pie pans from the dollar store. Obviously, they're only a dollar. And they are a little sturdier than just a disposable pie pan. I, they freeze really well. So I will not bake these pies. These will go into the, uh, uh, into the freezer uncooked. And then when I want one, I just pull them out. Also, since these are just a dollar, if you make one up and give it to a friend or take it to a potluck and you don't get your pie pan back, it's not a big deal. It was just a dollar. Go buy another one. I will see how many pie dough I actually get made because they need to chill before I bake them. So I'm going to make them up now. I'm going to keep switching out waffles and then we'll move on to something else. In the oh, gosh I can't even think I have six pie doughs in the fridge chilling because my recipe that I have the dough needs to be really cold to work with so those are chilling and yeah I'll show you what else is going on my messy little waffles are cooking away I've got a good stack going on and I still have, that's all I've gone down in my bowl. So I'm going to have a ton of waffles. This might take me the rest of the afternoon. I don't know. But I just put one in. Let it go. And take it out. Oops, it's hot. <laughs> put on some more. And yeah, it's just messy. That just is the name of the game when you cook. So I won't worry about any of this till I clean up because I have all of this fun stuff going on too. That's just the nature of the game, right? This is how many bags of apples I'm gonna be getting out of my freezer. So excited to be getting these done. They have just been bulky and taking up space. I'm just letting them kind of break down. They're frozen, so I'm letting them get where I can like break them apart. And then I'm gonna throw them in a big pot and start cooking them into pie filling pretty soon. So I have two gallon bags of the frozen apples in this pan cooking down. So we'll take a little bit to get kind of cooks down. These were raw when I cut them up and put them in the freezer. So I want them to kind of cook, cook down a bit. Then I will add sugar and seasonings to them. 
make them into tasty pie filling. Okay, here is how I'm adding in some more pantry clean out to this. A couple years ago, I canned this apple pie filling, but it turned more to sauce than it did seeing as pie filling. So I wouldn't add this just like this to a pie, because it's basically sauce. But I'm going to add this to my apples that I'm cooking up here. I've done it before, and it tasted really good. Okay, this is a lot of pie filling. I've mixed the two quarts of pie filling and the two quart bag of apples that I put down. I threw them all in this big bowl to mix together. And I did add a little cornstarch to each batch of apples. are just keep making as much messes as they can. Not quite done. Um, I'm almost done with the batter. So this project is almost done. I did get so caught up with the pie making that I overcooked too. So the dogs are going to love those because they're, they're well done. Moving on, I used up the all six of the pie doughs that I had made, and I have that much left that I will be turning into another, like, one or two pies I probably have enough for. I have probably enough pie filling for about one or two more pies. I'm going to figure that all out and then I'm going to decide where I want to go from there. So all of the pie crust that I made, I made six batches and that turned into eight pies and I used up all of my pie filling I made. So that is awesome. I'm going to wrap these up, put them back in, or put them down in the freezer and I think that I'm going to go ahead 
it. I have three of these pie pans left, plus some glass ones. So I think that I'm going to go ahead and make up a few more pies and cook up those apples I have because I would like them just out of my hair. Since the mess is already out, I mean, clearly it's strong. I'm just going to go ahead and make some more pie dough. I have a demanding helper. I'm just going to go ahead and make up more pie dough and then kind of see where I feel from there. Um, I've got kids that are about to come home, so I'm going to end my filming here, but I'll let you know at the end of the video what I got done today. So when it was all said and done, I ended up with 12 pies for the freezer and about three dozen waffles. So I think that was pretty successful along with using up numerous jars out of my pantry. Thanks so much for watching today and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.